I was thinking about this just a few weeks ago, and I realized that everything I do today, my job as a trainer, my hobbies with Wisconsin Public Television and coaching, my future interests in politics, everything I do today is built on the skills that I learned from Tom Harden. This is Kit Timmerman, class 2003. I am Abby Nichols, uh, formerly Abby Stevens. Uh, I graduated from Memorial in 2003. Hi, I'm Katie Hattenbach. I graduated in 2016. Weird, that was last year. I'm Arwen Fonson, class of 2006. Woot woot! I'm Ari Herstand. I graduated Memorial in 2003. My name is Grace Colas. I graduated Memorial in 2009. Hi, my name is Andrew Gonzalez. I was a captain in the forensics team from 2008 and 2009, my junior year of high school. I'm Beth LeMay. I graduated class of 2001. My name is Jan Thyengar and I was a member of Mr. Harden's forensics teams back in the early years, from 2001 to 2003. My name is Mika Herstand. I graduated Memorial in 2006. I'm Talia, I graduated in 2003. My name is Elena Colas. I graduated in 2007 from the Tom Harden School of Drama, Debate, and Forensics. I'm David Hoffert. I graduated in 2003. I'm Kate Phelps. I graduated from Memorial in 2005. My name is Danny Weedle, class of 2003. I was in a bunch of plays and musicals at Memorial. Let's see if I can get all these. Um, Anything Goes, Night Watch, Fiddler on the Roof. Uh... Involved in forensics and the tech side of theater. I was the head of set decoration. I was on Tom's first three Memorial forensics teams. And then after graduation, I coached for him in college, and then when I moved back to Madison after graduate school, I've been one of his assistant coaches for the last four years. A streetcar Named Desire, West Side Story, Up the Down Staircase. I participated in drama and forensics, but mostly theater. 42nd Street. Crew, uh, Tom Harden, and forensics. I came back after I graduated and was a coach for often about eight years. I uh, also did forensics all four years. Um, I, my senior year, I won the state tournament in demonstration speaking, doing tap dancing. I wore a white tux with a top hat. I had the honor of being a student in Mr. Harden's English class, a competitor on the forensics team, and an actor in many of his plays and musicals. I've also had the pleasure of working with Mr. Harden over the last eight years, assisting with sound design for the musicals at Memorial. There may have been one or two more in there, I think. I'm an actor, voice artist, and singer-songwriter in Denver, Colorado. Today I'm a software engineer, um, but I'm also an actor and a musician. I think in no small way it has helped me on my path to becoming a professor. That's something I, I very much wanted to do and now I'm doing it. Mr. Harden had a huge impact in my life. I'm sitting here right now in my own private voice studio. I'm a voice teacher now. I went to school for musical theater, so clearly my high school theater experience really had a huge impact. Today, I'm a project manager and management consultant for Deloitte Consulting based in Chicago, where I work with a number of companies on a whole host of issues associated with the startup and or consolidation of their corporate facilities. I'm currently a professional musician, an actor, uh, film and, and TV actor, uh, author, and you know, I guess it really all started in high school with with Mr. Hardin. During the week, I work at a nonprofit where I silently judge people for their diction and delivery in meetings. Mr. Hardin, you're the reason my parents never saw me. Uh, I was at school from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day through high school. But you know, I turned out okay anyway. But I went up to see him and he asked me, Why aren't you in forensics? And I remember thinking at the time that I had no clue what he was talking about. I was absolutely terrified, absolutely terrified of public speaking. The bulk of my theater experience before I went to college was at Memorial with Mr. Harden. And um, I loved him. He was fantastic. 
He was a total drill sergeant, but I liked that about him. <laughs> I still have the original photocopy of the story that we cut and paste together for my first prose piece, A Christmas Story. Sorry, I guess I should call him Tom Harden now that I'm a grown up. He expects a lot out of people because of those expectations rise to the occasion. Harden taught me that you gotta love what you're doing. He has this passion for what he does. He taught me how to lead with confidence. I think the most meaningful thing that I've learned from him is the importance of continuous growth. To never stop challenging yourself to become a better person and to find ways to keep giving back. Harden was also my English teacher and I learned never to use the two words a lot in um, my writing, which as a published author today, I, I just came out, I just released a 450 page book and I don't think I ever used those two words in conjunction together. Thanks Hardin for that. Not more than three weeks ago, a senior vice president of the company that I'm currently working with uh, at Deloitte asked me to come in for a meeting and as we we're talking through a number of different issues, he casually asked me to make a presentation to 70 of his team members on our project, its current status, etc. Now, without my time as a forensicator, I probably would have been trembling at this prospect. Harden introduced me to my people, uh, not just the kids, some of whom are still my best friends today, but to the playwrights and the writers and the characters who offer their wisdom and support to all of us. I think it's definitely helped me be a more confident adult. It's helped me be a more successful person, it helps me be more disciplined uh, in the way that I approach uh, everything that I do. Tom Harden probably taught me most of what I know about public speaking, presenting myself, and uh, dressing well for interviews. It became so clear so fast that he had built this incredible community of students who supported each other no matter what, um, with no reservations, with no conditions. Um, everyone was just there to back each other up all the time. And in high school I think that's what kids need. They need, especially in a big high school like Memorial, um, I think we all needed a place where we felt like we fit in and theater and forensics was that for so many people at Memorial and people from all different backgrounds. I wouldn't be where I am today without the skills that Hardin taught me. I wouldn't be where I am today without the work ethic that Hardin instilled in me. To listen and not take offense um, and, and find things that you can incorporate uh, and adjust in your own work to push yourself further, um, I think has been a really useful tool to have. I think that, in general, the amount of faith that Mr. Hardin had in his students um, and what he expected of them as just human beings um, really pushed a lot of us to be the best people that we could be, be the best performers we could be, the best writers we could be, the best students and um, members of, of the school that we could be. You know, he brought out the best in us. He brought out the best in me. And I carry a little bit of heart in with me every day. He went above and beyond as a teacher, as a mentor, as a director, and as a coach. I still have his number memorized. <laughs> still in my head and in my cell phone. So if I ever need him, you know, we all I think we all know he's there for us if we ever need him again in the future. So I am so grateful to have been a part of Tom Harden's legacy and to continue that legacy on teaching my students today. We've won 10 years in a row. Like, that's insane. That's crazy. That's so cool. And we're excited to uh, send, maybe not to you, but somewhere, the next <laughs> um, generation of forensicators. I recently had my first child, uh, a son named Kramer, and you know, I'm not gonna force him into too many things. I mean, he will be a Packer fan and he will learn to play Euchre, uh, but really the only other thing that he's not gonna get a say in uh, is joining a forensics team when the time comes. Tom, 
It has been an honor to work with you, and I wish you the very best in retirement. Thank you, Mr. Harden. Thank you, Mr. Harden. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for investing in our education and our development, and also just enriching our high school experience so much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Harden. Tom, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Harden. Thank you. Thank you, Harden. Uh, thank you for your time uh, and your energy um, and for making us the best that we could be. Thank you. Thank you again, Mr. Harden, for everything you taught us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Harden. Thank, thank, you. thank you, Tom. On behalf of the generations of students at Memorial and elsewhere whose lives you've touched, thank you.